Welcome back to this channel. Watch to the end for channel shout out. So I am thinking that we should go to the orphanage home this year. Although there are two to three orphanage homes that we can go, but I think we should set up a committee to look into which one we should go, not only that, the committee will come up with suggestions on what they will present to the orphanage and the children there, another thing I want us to take note of is, if we are going to cook or not, and if we are cooking, then what are we cooking? Definitely we will be cooking rice and the elders will eat swallow food. I think that should be for the committee to decide. Excuse me, I thought the orphanage home is for the motherless babies. When has it become a home for the elders? Please I think you need to come out clearly. I don't really understand what you are driving at. What I am saying is that, why are we cooking rice for the children and cooking swallow for the elderly? Don't forget that the money we are going to spend is coming out from people's pocket. I understand you now. First of all let's set up a committee. Then the committee should come up with a budget. Then we will know how much we are going to spend, whether we are going to reduce it or increase it, or we are going to outrightly cancel it. Alright sir, who and who should be the members of the committee? That should come under AOB sir. Last year when we visited people at the prison, we know how much we spent, now we are talking about rice and swallow. Nobody is talking about swallow, I only answered the questions pastor asked. Please what year did we do the borehole for the committee? Was it not five years ago? Five years ago? Yes sir. Don't forget the money we spent on entertainment, I mean feeding was far more greater than the money we spent on sinking the borehole. What are you trying to say? That I spent your money on personal proposes or what? I don't know, but I'm saying what is obvious from the report of the secretary isn't it so blessing. And what is obvious? The prudence was ignored. Which prudence are you talking about? Was budget not presented and approved for the entertainment? May God forgive you sir. Please, I think the argument is necessary. Because we still don't know how much it will cost us yet, are we still going to the orphanage or not? There's nothing we will do that will not cost us money. If we can't spend our money for God, I wonder who else we will spend it on. We will spend it on our family, all of us have responsibilities at home, we will spend it on our family, is that not so? It is okay, God will help all of us. Amen sir. One thing I want us to know is this, we should not be weary of doing good, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. In my opinion sir, going to the orphanage and visiting the prison are both good, at least, they both will give the church good names. But on the contrary sir, I think there are other profitable things that we can do with little or no money. Like what and what if I may ask. For instance sir, it has been a while we have an open-air crusade in this church. About that sir, I believe the youth of this church had a praise and drama concert sometimes last year, I think last year December. Oh my god, that's good, it was good but it wasn't an evangelical crusade, sir, we need to revisit evangelism in this church. And we need to take it very seriously, because to me, God rewards soul winners than givers of food and renders of clothes. Or water and swallow. You want me to say something and I will not say anything. Sir coincidentally, the Lord has been speaking to me about an open air crusade. Really? Yes sir. Now that the issue of crusade has come up, are we in support of the crusade? Crusade is better sir. Crusade is better, sir. Crusade is better sir. Evangelist Chris, please help us pray, seek the face of God, get his mind on where we will hold the crusade and when. All right, sir. I will do that, sir. Good. Secretary Clara. Yes, sir. What is the next thing on the agenda? AOB, sir. AOB. That is good. Yes, I can hear you. I am in the church right now. Call me back between 12 and 1 p.m. I should be through by then. Good afternoon, sir. Sister Tanya. How are you this morning? I am fine, sir. You look good. Thank you, sir, and you look good too. I feel strongly within my spirit that the prophecy pastor gave during the meeting this morning is actually meant for you. Well, I heard him too sir, I just connected. Thank God, the Lord will help you. Amen. But, my elder, my pastor, sorry, I want to talk to Sister Tanya. Go ahead. Sister Tanya, I felt strongly in my spirit that the prophetic declaration made by pastor was specially for you, 
The pastor just tried to generalize it. I want you to take note. All right, sir. God bless you. Can you see that the Spirit of God is one? The Spirit of God is one. We thank God for that. But do you know that everybody in the church heard him? But people can see and people cannot see. Elder, I cannot understand. Who are the people that cannot see? Sister Tanya, have you forgotten? We were so surrounded by clouds of witnesses. Therefore let us lay aside every weight and sin that can easily beset us and lets us patiently with endurance run the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. That is in Hebrew 12. Sister Tanya, it gladdens me to know that you are not just a praise leader, you are also a reader of the word. I thank God for grace sir, but Elder, what does clouds of witnesses has to do with prophetic declarations over my life? But the clouds of witnesses and the living awaits your manifestation as a child of God, therefore this generation cannot wait to see you fulfilling the content of the prophecy. Now I understand sir, may God help me. Amen, the Lord will help you. Amen. So don't lose hope. Yes sir. Don't lose grip on this word because those words has gone into your future like a seed, they will soon germinate. Amen. They will bring leaves and soon bear fruits in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me ask you, why do you think many prophecies don't come to pass? Lack of faith. And why do people lose faith in prophecy? Maybe when they don't get answers to their prayers on time. You are right, anyway two things can hinder prophecy fulfillment impatience and failure to fulfill your own part of the bargain. Truth to be told, when it comes to singing, Tanya is better than Samuel. Come on, we are not competing here. I know, but I think you will do better if you go to the city. You see this Tanya, I don't think she is ready to leave this village anytime soon. True, why not? I am ready as long as it is the will of God, I don't have to be in the city before I am fulfilled in the ministry. We are not talking about ministry here, we are only talking about changing of environment in search of exposures, jobs and career expansion. Whatever God says I should do I will do, job, husband, whatever he says I should do I will do it. No problem, now I know. Most churches in the city now pay their choir members. Is that a right doctrine? Singing is a ministry and it is meant to serve God. Ministries in the government have their own allocation. Why serve God for free when you can do the same and still be earning money? After all it is said that after the pastor, the next is the choir, and the pastors are earning salary. Daddy Tanya. Mummy Tanya. So you mean that we should allow our daughter go to thee and start parading herself, dangling her God's given talent in churches for the highest bidder? How have others been doing it? You and I know that some of her choir mates who have left this village to the city are doing well. For example Samuel Elizabeth's brother, he just left this village last year December, and we are already seeing him on the television. With the name soundtrack or what is even the name? Soundtrack. So you know. That may be God's plan for him. My dear, remember our pastor prophesied on Tanya severally that her miracle is on the way. That is what they have been saying to tie her down in this village. They kept on saying that to make her a faithful servant in the choir. Daddy Tanya. Mummy Tanya. Fear God. What has the fear of God got to do with this? The same pastor that said she should remain in this village. His own two daughters are already married, Bridget has gotten married and left for the city. But that is where her husband lives. Okay, what about Beatrice? I know she still stays in this village, when last did you see her in the church? Remember her husband is a pastor, she cannot leave her husband's church and come to worship with us in our church. Who is your own daughter's husband? The pastor or an evangelist? Daddy. Will you shut up? We raise our daughter in the way of the Lord, and we instill the fear of God in her, I am begging you please don't let us be a stumbling blocks on her way in the will of God. I see, I have heard you. All she needs is encouragement from us, we need to encourage her and support her. Encouragement? Yes. I encourage you after spending so much on her education to the university level, at the age of 32, is it because she has a small stature? She still lives in my house, eat my food, no job, no husband, nothing, can you say I should keep encouraging her to be under my roof? Okay I encourage you, I encourage the both of you. I am not trying to encourage you to disobey your father, but assuming you have a job, it will reduce the pressure coming from your father. But mum, I have been looking for a job. I know. What else will I do? Please mum, 
Can I speak to you? Okay, it is about the CV I gave you ma. That's true, I am sorry, there was an opening in my office just last week. Wow, but I forgot about you. Hmm, alright do you have any copy of your CV with you? I have one here with me ma, I was planning to give it to one of our brothers but you can have it. You have a good grade, it shouldn't be hard to get you a good place. There she is. Brother Samuel. My AC. Our runaway choir master. I am still your choir master now. So you are in the village for the first time in this year, you didn't enter the church and you call yourself a choir master. Well, I came for an event. The church invited him for a program this morning. But then I was in church, I saw you leading the praise and worship and the whole building was shaking. Which whole building, you have started again, all to the glory of God, I didn't even see you in church. He left after the praise and worship. Okay. Yes that's true, I was just on my way from the event when I saw Sister Faith and Sister Esther, they told me the service was over. And you are back already? Yes we spent like two hours. Yes two hours, you should have seen the way my brother was welcomed, Sam is now a big star, Samuel Sam track. You are still brother Samuel. That is for you, we were on the stage for one hour and the building was shaking, it was electrifying. To God be the glory. We thank God, Tanya you should come to the city, I am sure you will get a very good offer there. I have told her about it but she's just here wasting her talent in this village. I am working on it. Please try, don't worry I will link you up, trust me, I will link you up. Thank you so much, I have to leave now. I wanted to get us something. My parents must be at home by now, I want to go and cook for them something to eat. Yeah, this is for transport. Thank you very much, bye. Tanya, Tanya. You like her, don't you? What do you mean? Everybody likes Tanya, so what do you mean? I know when my brother likes someone so much, not just today. What if I like her, what is the big deal? I am sure I can even take care of her, there is money to spend. Yes that is true. Wait, Sam Track and Tanya, the best gospel artists, the wedding is going to be the best. Girls shall we move? Two thousand dollars. Yes sir. The same Samuel that used to come here with his sister to drink cassava flakes. Samuel is now a big man. I was with him briefly in the church this morning. He gave our daughter two thousand dollars. Do you forget that our daughter came back home in a taxi, now I understand it was Samuel that paid for the transport fare. Mummy, how did you know? I was watching you through the window when the taxi dropped you. I have always known that that boy likes our daughter. Please Daddy Tanya, I beg you in the name of God, our daughter is not for sale. You will not allow one to talk, I told her to go to the city, she refused, yet no work, now a good boy has come from the city to take good care of our daughter. You did not appreciate him. That is not right, I do, I acknowledge him and I appreciate him, but my daughter will not marry Samuel or any other men for money. But dad, why are you putting the money inside your pocket? Oh, so you want your daughter to marry in poverty? God forbid, my God will chose the best for her. Tanya, may God chose the right one for you. Amen. Sister Tanya in the church choir, this is not acceptable. If anyone wants to invite the choir, I think the person should invite the church choir, and if it is Sister Tanya, then the invitation should be sent to her, I think Samuel has her number. Sister Tanya does not have a brand so she cannot go alone. Exactly my point, my point exactly, it is obvious brother Samuel does not need the choir members, all he wants is Sister Tanya. He only added the choir because he knows that Sister Tanya cannot do it alone. Why can't she? After all she has been going for events alone, elder's daughter's birthday, she was the only one invited to sing. What about mummy Victoria's daughter's wedding, was she not the only one they invited? Please let me explain what happened. Please hold on, you can't be a judge in your own case. At least give her a chance to defend herself. Who has accused her? Look at me, you may be jealous of her, that does not stop the fact that she is better than you in this choir. Please Sister Faith. No Tanya, let me tell them what they don't know. Please hold on let her insult me. I don't blame every one of you, I blame myself, Samuel only invited Tanya to his concert, where talent is appreciated. You mean our runaway choir master? 
Whatever you like call him, all I know is that, if you had half the opportunity you would have left the village by now. Faith, it is okay. Okay, all I know is that my brother has interest in Tanya leading the choir at his concert. Well done faithful sister-in-law, God will soon expose whatever it is between your brother and your friend. Excuse me, what is your problem? Are you jealous, I am out of here. Faith, Faith, me too. I am sorry everyone, I am really very sorry. No need, I am leaving too. Please, Brother Richard. Yes, they are like that, especially that Brother Richard, he is too troublesome, that is how he was always against Samuel when he was around. But I think they have a point, I am a member of the church choir, I don't have any band or group, why didn't he just write to the church choir? Firstly he wants the choir to sing the song The Joyful Noise, and he believes that you are in the best position to lead it. Secondly, he wants his boss to see you sing, probably he could just employ you. And with your growing reputation, you know you should actually have a brand by now. I will, if God says so. Sister thus sigheth the Lord, I knew it. Don't worry, I already called my brother and he promised to do something about it. Do what? He should do anything about it. I am going this way. Bye. See you later. You know what you guys did is not right. Forget about it. Lord, please talk to me. Don't be quite over my life at this point. What should I do about the invitation? It is a big platform. Is it your will for me to go? Is this an open door as the fulfillment of your promise for me? If yes, led me to pacify the aggrieved members of the church choir. Lord, please speak to me. I believe this is what the Lord is saying, that this month the prophecy pastor said is going to come to pass. It's also written in the book of Isaiah 60, that I Tanya shall rise and shine, for the light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me. I will rise and shine. I will rise and shine in the name of Jesus. Amen. Daddy. My daughter, it is well. Amen. I know this is a very critical matter. I just want to encourage you that the Lord is with you. You should understand that Sam, it's you that he really needs in this concert. He wants to use it as an opportunity for you to be known, not really the church, if the church do not want to go, no problem. You can as well use the opportunity to start your own group, and by the time you inform Sam, he can give you another invitation. It will bear the name of your group instead of the church. Point. I just need to encourage you, I know that this is the opportunity you have been waiting for, for a very long time. And I believe that it is what the Lord wants to use to raise you. Don't worry it as well, let's us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Who is at home, Tanya, Mummy Tanya? Welcome my husband. Thank you, I have something to show you, see it. My daughter is now a celebrity. A picture of my daughter and Sam track with other gospel musician, album launch. Where did you get this? The news is everywhere. My sister called me and she said she saw my daughter among the big gospel artists on the television. What is it? The publicity of the program is on the radio, television, newspaper, and even the internet. And my daughter's face is in all of these places. Yes of course, she is one of the special guests. May God bless Samuel for me. Wait where is Tanya? She should be inside her room, Tanya, Tanya. Tanya, Tanya. Yes sir, welcome sir. Thank you. You can have your seat. God has finally answered your prayers, here, look at this photo. Tanya, you don't look excited, have you seen it before? I have seen it before, Faith sent me the flyer last night. But you didn't show me. All this big artists are coming to Samuel's program. Yes. This boy is trying. His promoters are paying for everything. But Tanya, you don't look excited. What is the problem? I am seeking the face of God about this program. Are you sure that the enemies from your mother's house has not finally caught up with you? We don't have any enemy in my family. Then what hypnotize her? What has hypnotized her? She is seeking the face of God as if God's face is lost. You don't have to blame your father, we are all humans. I don't have any reason to blame anyone. You and I know that you have been searching for a job for a long time now, and there is no man showing interest in marrying you. I know mummy, I know. Now that God has shown us an open door, and it is even in line with the prophecy that we have over the years. That God is going to use your gift to promote you. I know but. Tanya, I have never been to the city, now that they are inviting you to come to the city, lodging you in a five-star hotel. 
And your pictures are already on the television, and your name is heard on radio every day. Tanya let me talk, I am still your mother. Okay. Tell me, are you afraid of the sudden success? Tell me that God has not given you the assurance to go to the city. I am not saying that God does not want me to go to the city, I mean my spirit is just quiet about it, I am a Christian and I know when the Holy Spirit is in agreement in this matter. So your spirit should be shouting. The spirit of God is meek and gentle, if you don't go you will disappoint that boy called Samuel. And I know that the boy likes you, very soon he will propose to you. Mummy. Don't ruin this opportunity my dear. Mummy. Samuel is not my husband. You said what? I have been praying to God for the will of God over my marriage, but God has not spoken about it yet, besides I don't even have such feelings for him. Tanya. Hello pastor, yes I will come to your office by the grace of God. Sister Tanya, I sent for you, Evangelist Chris has a word for you. Okay sir. You can go on Evangelist Chris. Yes, that's true Sister Tanya, the Lord is leading the evangelic team on an outreach to a neighboring village, it is going to be an open crusade. And we need the choir department on ground. An open crusade? Yes. Yes, that is the instruction that God gave to us. God has spoken to me about it even before he came to talk about it to me. The church council has not been officially informed, but by God's grace it is going to be on our top agenda for the next meeting. As the choir secretary who now doubles as the choir master, there will be a need for you to be informed on time, so that you can prepare in advance. I mean to aid your own preparation, while the church council deliberates on it, and also you will be the one to lead the choir at the crusade. Glory to God sir, what date is it? Evangelist Chris, what is the date again? June 24th to 26th sir. Okay sir, the Lord will help us, wait which month again sir? June. Pastor Sam track program is meant to be on the 26th of June. Oh that's is true, what are we going to do? What to do is simply, let the church choir accept Sam Track invitation in the city, the church choir should honor it. Any evangelical team and any members of the church that is willing should go and join the crusade, that is my suggestion. Willing church members you say? Yes, you can't force it on people. But Jesus made it a compulsory assignment to all believers, according to the book of Mark. Oh spare me that rubbish. So the word of God is rubbish. I never said the word of God is rubbish but what you are saying is rubbish. It is okay. It is not okay. My brother you can't hide. I am quoting the scripture here for crying out loud. You are not quoting it well. I am quoting the scripture. Elder, please what you are saying is not right. No, why are you always in support of women? Don't you have a wife at home? What is the meaning of what you are saying? What has what she said got to do with what you just said? She only quoted the scripture. Please let's calm down, please let's take Tanya's father's suggestion which is going to be laudable, although the cost implication for the two projects will be massive. Soundtrack invitation to the city has already taken care of itself financially, because brother Sam have sent $20,000 to the church. $20,000. As we all know, if any money comes into the church account today, I seated here is the church treasurer, I should be aware. No such money has entered the church's account. The money is with me, Brother Samson sent the money to my account on Tuesday and I plan to discuss it with every one of us here today. So Pastor, Sam gave the money to the church. I mean he donated the money to the church. Not really, actually the money was meant for the choir, some of us will know that Brother Sam who is our former choir master, is holding a concert in the city, in conjunction with the company abroad, he sent the money for transportation and other logistics. All right, Pastor, but this is very sensitive. All I will say is that we should not release the whole money to the choir. We should take part of it for the evangelism. I am afraid we might have to refund all the money. Why, sir? Why are we refunding? The reason is that after the required invitation for the concert, the choir is also needed in the crusade. But I discussed with you on that. I remember your suggestion very well, but the instructions is that the choir must be on ground to sing for the crusade. Sir, if the choir goes, is it not to sing? After all some members of the evangelical team also knows how to sing, they should be the one to sing. Moreover, in the Bible during King Jehoshaphat reign, the Bible recorded that the soldiers dropped their weapons and they became singers, they were singing. 
Why can't the evangelical team follow suit? They should just select some people among themselves and sing among themselves. It is as simple as that. Point of correction sir, during King Jehoshaphat's reign, the soldiers did not just drop their weapons and began to sing. The scripture says they appointed singers. Appointed singers. Yes. From where? I don't know. Pastor, if the mountain did not come to us, let us go to the mountain. The people in the city will not change their dates because of us. Let us change our own dates for them. No, God gave us those dates. Look, God gave us 365 days in a year and this is just 3 days. Other days are blessed too. Excuse me, elder. God told us how to do this and where. Evangelist, let us be smart about this. I'm skeptical about the location because we have not even covered the ground in this area. You are talking about another area. I am suggesting that we should hold the crusade close to the church so that by the time we have a new converts or harvest souls, they will join the church easily. And even God said that we should start from our own Jerusalem before going to Judea and other parts of the world. Youth president, you must have an understanding that evangelism is to win souls to the Ecclesiastes church, the church that Christ the bridegroom is coming to marry. Soul winning is not a congregational increase but an expansion of God's kingdom. Yes, I want us to know that we are all Christians and we are all elders in this church. I expect us to have grown beyond questioning the voice of God over any matter. Are we now saying that we are not hearing the voice of God or speaking the mind of God here? Pastor, it is obvious that the council is divided over this matter. I will suggest that we split the choirs into two. Good idea. With the splitting of the choir into two, I believe that it will settle both the crusade and the concert in the city. The youth should also shine their light before their day of evil comes. So you the elderly ones, your days of evil are here. That is what the Bible says. If we decide to split the choir into two, it's fine. Okay. Or does the instruction say it has to be the full choir? No, not really. Good. So which of the church team will be going with the church bus? It is obvious, those who are going to the concert in the city will go with the church bus because we are addressed by the way we dress. On the contrary, Since it was reported here that the money has been sent for the program in the city, enough money for transportation and logistics. Then let us use out of the money to get a bus for the church choir, while the evangelical team goes to the crusade ground with the church bus. For convenience's sake, after all, we should not forget that they are spending 3 days there. Yes, you are right. I think it is rational that the evangelical team go with the church bus. Then we will arrange a very good bus to carry those who are going to the city. I think with that we are good to go. Okay. Having settled all that, let us now decide how much to be released for the choir. To be continued. Today's channel shout out is to Lee Blake and Roslyn from Jamaica, Maryam, Shelly and Patricia from Zambia, Herline from Haiti, Tracy, Ana, Kelly, Eli, Gorath, Pamela, Sonia, Cordova, Cassidy and Sandra from USA. Amanda and Maddie Kelly from Ghana, Robert Edda from Liberia, Elizabeth, Lydia Julius, Stanley and Treza from Kenya, Sion from Ethiopia, Tindiwe from Malawi, Fulang from South Africa, Annie from Trinidad and Tobago, Rosalyn from Barbados, Charlotte from Memphis, Antonia from Ireland. Drop your name and where you are watching from in the comment section to get a shout out from this channel. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be notified when another video is being posted.